Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Ko Halong Yamla Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Barachaha Kodash, which means all praises to Yahawa is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahawa Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. Barachaha Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, on the way of course of the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations <clears throat> to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. So, Brother Matati from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines, Shabbat Shalom. And um, not sure what I'm going to this lesson just yet, you know, but it's based off Isaiah, the 45th chapter, in the 16th verse. This is uh, the book of Isaiah 45. In 17, I'm sorry, not the 16 verse, verse 17. This is Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. So, so like I just want to explain what this world without end actually means. So, when you go into this word world, it's the uh, Hebrew word Iowalam, right? And as you can see, it says long duration, antiquity, futurity, uh, forever, ever, everlasting, evermore, perpetual, old, ancient. You know, so all the, the, these different definitions. It says uh, everlasting, indefinite, or unending future eternity. Right. But what it goes into is um, an unbroken age. Right. So it's going into a time. So when it says you shall be, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world. We can substitute our word world for age, right? Ye shall not be an ashamed nor confounded age without end. Because um, the Greek equivalent for this Isaiah 45 and 17 is actually in the book of Galatians 3, the last verse. Or is it 2? Ephesians 3, I'm sorry. Ephesians 3. And I started 20. It says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Hamashiach Yahweh throughout all ages, world without end. Now, when we go into this Greek word for world, as you can see, it's eon, which goes into forever and unbroken age, perpetuity of time, eternity. So it's going into a time. You see, because all these, right, different heathen had a time or an a, um, a unbroken age to rule. That's why in the book of Hebrews, this is Hebrews 11. Or am I looking at? No, no, I'm thinking of one. No, yeah, I, mean, I am. This Hebrews 11 and 3. It says, through faith. We understand that the worlds, plural, were framed by the word of the Most High, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Now, when you go into this word worlds, it's eons. <clears throat> so each and every time frame or rulership that's been established on this earth was formed by Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. That's why he tells us here in the book of Psalms. This is the book of Psalm 75 and five. Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. But the most high is the judge. He put down one and setteth up another. That's why he told us here in the book of Daniel. Yep, 4 and 17, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men. That's why it's written in the book of Sirach. This is Sirach 10 and 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated, right? The age is translated from one people to another, which is why when you see in Daniel 7 or in Daniel 2, 
it starts with this first beast, which is the Assyrian Babylonian Empire. Then it goes into the Medio Persian Empire. Then it goes into the Greek Empire. Then it goes into the Greco Roman Empire, right? And then after that, it goes into what? The American EU Empire. You see? And all these are ages. All these are worlds that the Lord has ordained. But as we continue to read down in this Daniel 7, this Daniel 7 and 12, as concerned, I started at 11. I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake, right, which is uh, America. And I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. So this is the nuclear destruction that's going to take place upon America, right? That whore that right at the beast, according to Revelation. It says, as concerning the rest of the beast, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time because these heathen have a uh, 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 payback. These, uh, how can I say that? Well, that's not what I... Um, these heathen have... Um, a judgment coming to them. As they done unto us, it shall be done unto them. That's written in uh, the book of Obadiah, starting around verse 14 or verse 15. It says, as thou hast drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall the heathen drink continually. Right? So the things you've done unto us, man, you led us into captivity, man. <laughs> Your ass going into captivity, starting with Esau, Edom, right? But in verse 13, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, being our Lord Yahweh Shah in the chariots, and came to the Ancient of Days. He was brought to the Most High, Abba Yahweh, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away in his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed, which is that's the understanding of Isaiah, the 45th uh, uh, chapter in the 17th verse. Our age or our rulership will have no end. See, all the rest of these heathen had an end. Right. And that's why, according to Daniel. That last beast was America. Well, it tells us here in the book of Second Ezra six. And seven, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times or when shall be the end of the first? So Edris is asking when the end shall be in the beginning of it that followeth. And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, like Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau for Esau is the end of the world is the end of the age. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see? So Jacob is the beginning of the age that has no end. And it starts with our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You see? His dominion, let's read that part again. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away. In his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. And I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him, which was the angel, the truth of all this. So he told me and made me know the interpretation of the things. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. These four different kingdoms. These four different um, major rulerships, right? Those were these different worlds, the world of Babylon, the world of uh, 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 the Persians, the world of the Greeks, the world of the Romans. You see, and now we're in a world of America and the EU today. But verse 18, but the saints of the most high, and we know who the saints are, according to Psalms 148, according to Psalms uh, 50 and 5. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever. A world without end. Our rulership will have no end. I'm going to jump down to verse 26. But the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion, right? That beast. To consume and to destroy it until the end. Esau is the end of the world. 
and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. That's Isaiah the 60th chapter. Any nation that will not obey thee shall be destroyed. All these heathen will be subject unto Israel forever. This is the book of Isaiah 60 and 12. For the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. You see, that's why it tells us here in the book of Sirach. Is real. I ain't never spelled it like that. What the hell? And I spelled it like that again. What the hell is wrong with me? <clears throat> this is the book of uh, Sirach. Might be like 17 or something like that. Nope, it's not 17. Sirach 37, this Sirach 37 and 25, the days of the life of man may be numbered, but the days of Israel are innumerable. You know? World without end. On top of being immortals. <laughs> you know? But it's going into how there shall be no end of the kingdom of Israel. Start with our Lord Yahweh Shah. This is the book of Luke 1. And verse 31, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, right? So it's talking about she, she will get pregnant, meaning Joseph will pop her and, and, uh, and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahweh Shah. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord power shall give unto him the throne of his father, David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there shall be no end world without end Psalms 45 and 6 thy throne O power is forever and ever the scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter Psalms 89 36 his seed shall endure forever in his throne as the sun before me that's through our Lord Yahweh Shai and the sun is a perpetual decree yep we read that yep yep we read that Daniel Yep. So I think that's a good place to end it. Yep. Daniel 2 and 44. And in the days of these kings, in the days of, of America, the EU, right? Shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom, which is that's being set up now. You see the men on the highways and hedges teaching, right? You see Israel, uh, the elect of Israel, let me be specific, standing upon their feet, waking it up. They have the breath in them. Which shall never be destroyed, you see, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. That's it. You know, so let's 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 end it with the preset we started with. Isaiah 45, 17, but Israel shall be saved in Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. So our rulership is going to be forever and ever and ever. So Lord will, I hope this was edifying. The water Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKodash. Double honesty, uh, our apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. Peace, blessings, salutations to you brothers, you fusers that's listening and learning in silence as well. Shabbat shalom.